Today's episode of Colorado Sports Connection is brought to you by SeaWorld San Diego. Visit SeaWorld during your next road trip with the Colorado Rockies. Today on Colorado Sports Connection, we visit with Colorado Rockies players in San Diego as they pay tribute to the legendary baseball player, Jackie Robinson. Welcome to Colorado Sports Connection. We're talking with Colorado Rockies pitcher LaCroix Hawkins, and we're here at San Diego Rockies versus the Padres, and it's Jackie Robinson Day all across Major League Baseball. So, Troy, one of the questions I have to ask you regarding Jackie Robinson Day is the importance of keeping the history of baseball alive. Well, it's definitely important because um, the significance of what Jackie Robinson did breaking the color barrier in um, Major League Baseball. So, yeah, it's definitely important to let the young kids know that you know what Jackie did and how he carried a, a nation on his shoulders and how he represented. You know, each and every American citizen with the utmost respect. Now, would you take it, how would you take it if there are ball players that, you know, that are coming up to the major league and really don't have a grasp on the history of the game? Is that something you would do as a veteran to try to help them along? Yeah, I've, I've done that before. I had, in spring training, I had young guys do uh, reports on Marvin Miller, Kurt Flood, Michael Weiner, you know, just, and just so they can get a, a grasp on their history because if you don't know your history you definitely don't know where you're going and and that's one of the things I, I love about baseball where you can take it inside the classroom as well when you get those special assignments there's so much history such as a you know a Jackie Robinson before we go on talking about Jackie Robinson what did he mean to you personally as a ball player as a ball player it, um, it means everything because he's without him paving away you know it was a good chance there would be no Troy Hawkins or Tory Hunter uh, today playing the game of uh, Major League Baseball. So, you know, what he did, what he went through, his perseverance, uh, his courage, um, his, his fortitude, the things that he showed were definitely embodies what, um, what, you know, everything we stand for. And one last question. How did he help you as Latroy Hawkins, the man? Uh, helping me as a man, just reading his books, getting, uh, getting a chance to meet his wife, Rachel, and I'm good friends with his daughter, Sharon, and listening to her stories about her dad, just, you know, how he cared about, he cared about people. Um, you know, just not on the field. You know, his life outside of baseball was definitely important as well. And the things he did, you know, his, when he's speaking up on different matters when the time when, you know, athletes were definitely quiet about things that were going on. But he was, he was definitely into what was going on in America. You, you know, you, you mentioned his daughter here. Anything special that she said to you that most people out there don't know about Jackie Robinson? You know, it's not one thing that she said to me, but I have a daughter. And... You know, just talking to her, talking to her about how Jackie, her, her dad was to her, it definitely helped me to be a better father to my daughter. Ladies and gentlemen, Colorado Rockies fans, LaTroy Hawkins. Well, Rockies fans, it's always great to get back together with an original member of the Colorado Rockies, Eric Young. And here we are, Eric, Jackie Robinson Day. Let's talk a little bit about what Jackie Robinson, the man, means to you. Well, it means uh, a lot to me when you think about a special person, a person that carried a torch for many people, uh, that made it possible for, especially as African Americans, to be playing baseball today, and also brought a society together. Uh, black, white, Latinos, everybody was able to appreciate this man. You know, and it's just amazing how when the signing of Jackie Robinson, uh, 1947, and I believe like 150 players followed suit after that within the five years. Your thoughts on the importance of keeping that legacy of Jackie Robinson alive? Well, I think it's very important. You see young kids today, African Americans, that tend to go to other sports, but there are some out there that are playing baseball, and it's up to us baseball players that are in the game today to also keep it alive and understand that this man paved the way for us, and it's not fitting for us not to appreciate it and still continue his legacy. And you know what's so beautiful, too, about the sport of baseball is that you can take it into the classroom 
do you have assignments? When the teachers asked you, say, hey, Eric, I need you to write about a role model. <laughs> Which baseball player was it for Eric Young that you wrote about? Well, it's funny that you brought that up. I did Jackie Robinson, but what's even more special is that I have a little seven-year-old who had that assignment brought home, and he said I wanted to be the most famous baseball player. And he said, Daddy, you always talk about Jackie Robinson. I want to be like Jackie Robinson. And so he was Jackie Robinson in school. So I, I think it's an honor. I, I think it's even more relevant to me that my little seven-year-old understands and knows about Jackie Robinson and can recite some of his history and facts about him. You know, you talk about your seven-year-old. What would you like for him to grab from Jackie Robinson that will help him become a man in the future years? Wow, it, it is a lot to grab uh, from Jackie, but one in particular was that, you know, uh, there's going to be some ups and downs throughout your life and not just baseball, some of these ups and downs throughout your life, but the fact that Jackie was able to carry on, stay focused, and stay to the task, that he didn't allow anyone or anything to come in between his dreams of being a Major League ball player. So I want my son to be the same way, whether it's Major League Baseball or whether it's whatever profession he choose. I want him to always remember that, don't give up, understand I'm gonna have ups and downs, but there's nothing or anyone going to get in the way of your dreams. You know, we were talking about pressure earlier with Michael Kadire, and as a fan, you know, looking on the outside and I see the game today, to me, today's players really don't have any pressure, especially <laughs> for the stuff all the, that Jackie endured. Well, he definitely endured a lot that those guys today don't have to deal with those particular issues. But I, I think pressure comes from you, the fear of failure. Uh, if a guy comes out here and he's representing not only himself, his family, his team, the organization, the city, there's so many people he's representing, but it's not near the amount of people, people that Jackie represented when he played. You know, aside from Jackie Robinson, who else has an important impact on you? On you? Well, growing up, it was Willie Randolph. Uh, been growing up in New Jersey, always had the opportunity to read and hear about the Yankees or the Mets. And one thing I always understood about Willie, that he was well-respected. And no matter what, you didn't hear any negative uh, information out there about Willie. Willie was a stand-up guy. And I said, if I can honor the sport the same way, as well as wear number 21 and be half the man and half the player Jackie was, I think my life would be fulfilled. You know, last question. As a former player and now as a coach for Major League Baseball, how important is it for you that these young players know the history of Jackie Robinson? I, I think the more they understand uh, and really realize what Jackie went through to be a major league ball player, I, I think they appreciate each and every day they come out here and put that uniform on. And it won't be only the feeling of the African-American players out here to be a feeling of everybody out here that's wearing his uniform and understand that there were people before you that made history and that paved the way and made it possible for it to be more enjoyable and, more, and the lifestyle much better than what you, you know, you ever can imagine. So I think the more they understand that, the more they appreciate and respect the game even more. Well said. Ladies and gentlemen, always a fan favorite, Eric Young of the Colorado Rockies. Today's episode of Colorado Sports Connection is brought to you by SeaWorld San Diego. Visit SeaWorld during your next road trip with the Colorado Rockies. Well, one of the fun parts here at SeaWorld are the animals. And here talking with us about the animal is Mike Price, assistant curator of SeaWorld. Mike, pleasure to meet you. Hey, great to oh, have you out. Well, welcome to the show. Welcome to Explorers Reef. We are underneath the reef, part of our 50th celebration. And the very first thing you do now when you arrive at SeaWorld is you dive under a reef and you can interact with cleaner fish and sharks and horseshoe crabs and round rays. In seconds, you are under the water. You know, I see all the kids here right now. They're putting their hands in the water and they got fish coming all over them. Talk a little it's bit about it. It's one of that. the neatest things. They're cleaner fish. It's a small fish that goes around in the wild would eat pieces of uh, skin off a of bigger fish. But here they swim up and nibble on your hand. It's like thousands of little kisses. It's the only place in the U.S. that's being display, displayed. And you can hear all the laughter. The kids are loving it. Now, not only here we have the small species, but you're also in charge of the bigger species out here. Talk a little bit about well, that. Well, we have a very large collection of animals here at the park, one of the largest zoological collections in the country. But we also have not only the Explorers Reef lets you meet animals, but we have interactive areas around the park, like our manta uh, experience where you can pet bat rays, you can feed sea lions at uh, Pacific Point, you can meet dolphins at Dolphin uh, Point. 
And even this time of year for 50th celebration, we have surprise animal encounters. So you could be walking down a path and bump into a parade of flamingos or a sloth crawling down or even penguins. So there are animals everywhere, and for our 50th celebration, you're going to be surprised and meeting them in every corner of the park. You know, speaking of that, you know, the dolphins, the sea lions, talk a little bit about those shows for us. Well, the great part about coming to SeaWorld is we're going to get you up close to animals. And even in our shows, if you're brave enough to sit in our splash zone, they're going to be bringing water over and onto you, and it's just a refreshing, exciting part of the show. The animals are going to be coming skying out of the water. They're going to be swimming through. It's just an exciting way to spend your day and meet some animals. You know, it seems like when you're walking around here, a family and the children, you know, you get that educational experience. Talk a little bit, too, about, say, someone wants to get into the industry, the education that SeaWorld does offer some students. Well, the, the beauty of getting people close to animals is not only is it exciting and fun for them, but it makes connections. So you have kids here at Explorers Reef petting sharks, and they realize very quickly, oh my God, shark's not scary. I can pet them, everything's cool. I don't have to worry about anything. And what that does is it shows kids that sharks aren't scary. And these days with shark conservation, there are some very serious concerns in the wild populations. And if those little kids remember that connection, grow up, study science, study marine biology, they might be one that solves one of the big conservation problems and protect sharks around the world. Now, SeaWorld also offers uh, student assistance as well if they decide that someone wants to work here. As an employee here, after a certain amount of time, SeaWorld does offer a tuition assistance, which if you're a college student, is a great way to kind of not only work at SeaWorld, have a great time, but can help, SeaWorld will help you get through your academic career too. Well, Mike, thank you very much no for all problem. that information. And uh, now it's on to what, the hey, sea lions and the dolphins? the adventure, my friend. Today's episode of Colorado Sports Connection is brought to you by SeaWorld San Diego. Visit SeaWorld during your next road trip with the Colorado Rockies. This segment of Colorado Sports Connection is brought to you by Sport Court of the Rockies, Colorado's number one choice for backyard game courts. Sport Court of the Rockies can build your family a sports and games paradise right in your own backyard. Building Colorado's dream courts. Sport Court of the Rockies. Well, today is Jackie Robinson Day, and we're talking with Colorado Rockies outfielder Michael Kadire. Michael, I know that you know the history of baseball. Can I get your thoughts on Jackie Robinson, the baseball player, and what he means to you? Well, I mean, obviously, he's an extremely influential part of baseball history, not just baseball history, but American history. And I think um, every parent and Every teacher should teach the kids the story of Jackie Robinson, the courage, um, you know, what he had to go through, the barriers that he broke down, and you know, just how influential he was in this country's history. And you know, being the, the first person to, to bring black baseball players into this organization um, and, and what he had to do to, to do it is absolutely amazing that not too many people can have that courage and that that heart, that drive, the brains to be able to do something like that. You know, when you talk about the pressure of the game, you know, and as a fan, when I look at it, I say, and I look at today's ball players, I'm like, pressure? Nobody had pressure like a Jackie Robinson. No question about and that. And do you use, as, as a veteran, how do you use that to help the younger ball players? Well, I mean, yeah, everybody goes through their, their, their pressure, but. You know, obviously people went through a lot of it to get us to where we are today and, and to be able to allow us to enjoy playing this game today. And, you know, Jackie Robinson's at the forefront of that. Um, you know, I think he taught courage. He taught how to deal with pressure. He taught all of that stuff to, to baseball players and to people and to our society in general. And we should all be able to learn something from him. Now, what did Michael Kadire learn from Jackie Robinson as, the ball, as a ball player and then Michael Kadire as the man? Well, one, he played the game hard. You know, all those guys back in those days played the game the right way. They played the game without the money because the money wasn't involved. Um, they played the game because they loved it. And I try and take that onto the field with me. And then again, like we've talked about as far as the man, you know, the courage to be able to go out there and, and break down barriers and play and stick to something that you believe in and be able to overcome all those adversities to make the world a better place. And that's something I try and do as well outside of baseball. If you had an opportunity, if he's standing here with you today, what was what was one question or questions that you may ask him about the game and life? Well, 
I mean, I, it would be a lot of, it'd be a, hopefully a long conversation, but, um, you know, just what, how he dealt with those pressures, um, the pressures off the field and relate that to the pressures on the field and how you can deal with the, the, the pressure field impact of this game and still be able to, to deal with everything that was going on outside of it. Colorado Rockies outfielder, Michael Kadire. We're talking with Colorado Rockies outfielder, Carlos Gonzalez. Normally Rockies fans, you'll see him wearing number five, but today, a special day, he's wearing number 42. Carlos, what does it mean to you personally to be wearing Jackie Robinson's number? Well, it's a, it's, it's a dream come true. You know? It's special for everybody, it's special for, for our nation, for all the countries, Venezuela, Dominican Republic. I mean, it's, uh, you know, because of him, we're playing baseball today here, and, uh, you know, all you can say is just thank you because it's a, it's a dream come true for us. Since we were little kids, always dreaming about playing in a, in a big league field, and he's, you know, he's the number one reason why we're all here today. You know, you're talking about, he was also mentioned in your, in your country. When did you first hear about Jackie Robinson, and when did you really start taking an interest in the man? Well, I think it uh, all started when, you know, I know our only Hall of Fame right now is uh, Luis Aparicio, and you know he talk about the, the history of the game, you know all the things that they went through, and you know Jackie Rob Jackie Robinson was the number one player who uh, you know who did it all, who, who make us uh, get the opportunity that we have today, and uh, you know every time you go on the baseball field uh, in Venezuela or any country you go, uh, they're gonna mention his name because uh, like I say he's the, he's the reason why we're all here today. You know. It's always refreshing to talk to the young ball players that really have a, a grasp on the history of the ball game. Why is it so important to you personally to have that foundation of history of the game? Oh, because uh, you know, every year you will see uh, you know a lot of guys shine in the big leagues, and uh, it doesn't matter where you're coming from, you know. Uh, and, and like I say, you know, every time you get the opportunity to play in the big league, it's because of him. Uh, you know, every day baseball just keep continuing to get better and better, and uh, you know it's because of that. You know, you got you have guys all over the place, uh, guys from Venezuela, from you know Japan, and uh, you know it just makes a uh, it just makes it more fun for the fans because you know that's what we play every day. We we play for the fans because we try to put a good show on the field, and uh, you know it just makes the game better. Before I let you go, the young Rockies fans out there, tell them why it's so important to know about Jackie Robinson, the ball player, and Jackie Robinson, the man? Well, it's very important because, uh, you know, all you guys, one day you're going you're to have the opportunity, you know, to continue to work really hard the way he did it and the way we're doing it today. You're going to have the opportunity to play in this wonderful game. And, uh, you know, every time you have the opportunity to wear uh, his number on the field, uh, it's going to be a special day, just not just for you, for all the people who care about him and uh, support the guy. We see number five, but today he's wearing number 42, very proud, Carlos Gonzalez. This segment of Colorado Sports Connection was brought to you by Sport Court of the Rockies, building Colorado's dream courts, Colorado's number one choice for backyard game courts. Sport Court of the Rockies can build your family a sports and games paradise right in your own backyard. This segment of Colorado Sports Connection is brought to you by Patron Brothers Painting, Colorado's MVP for residential and commercial painting. If you need painting contractors with Hall of Fame credentials, contact Patron Brothers Painting at 303-688-8738. Well, we're talking with the play-by-play -play radio voice for the Colorado Rockies, Jerry Schemmel, and we're going to get his thoughts on the man, Jackie Robinson. <laughs> Uh, it's a special day. I think baseball does a tremendous job of honoring number 42, and 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 I think uh, the generations now, generation now, and generations to come, because you see this tribute by Major League Baseball, we're going to understand and appreciate Jackie Robinson more than they did ever have in the past. So I love what Major League Baseball is doing. I think it's cool that everybody's wearing number 42. It's kind of hard for me to to figure out who's throwing in the bullpen sometimes because they all have the same number on a day like today, but. Other than that, it's a great tribute. You know, I asked this question to Eric. Um, while growing up, we always get those school assignments to write about your favorite role model. Yeah. Who is that role model for Jerry Schemmel? Uh, I, I think it would it would probably be somebody in history like Abraham Lincoln for me. I, I think when you go back to the slavery days and see what he did to kind of bring us out of that era, to me that that's a, a special kind of person. 
uh, and even if he wasn't the President of the United States, I think I'd have tremendous respect for somebody like that. But that's probably my hero, Abe Lincoln. In terms of athletes, I think I got to say Jackie Robinson's up there. I mean, here's a guy that not only broke the color barrier, Daryl, but the impressive thing to me is that he did it with class and dignity, and he was a great ball player. I mean, if someone breaks the color line and they're not very good and they fizzle out in a year or two, nobody's probably going to remember them a whole lot. But this guy was a great player. I mean, he put up some incredible numbers. I mean, he stole home 19 times, I think, to set a major league record. So that, that's got to be at the, at, at, maybe not the top of my hero list, but right very close. You know, you, you follow a lot of great players. You get to travel all across the country and watch major league baseball. In your mind, can you envision the pressure that Jackie Robinson went through day in yeah. and day out? Yeah. I mean, yeah. you hear fans booing today, but can you imagine what he had to go yeah. through? I can't, Darrell. I mean, I, I, I tried to put myself actually in his place before, and I just can't fathom that because our, our day and age, you, you, won't, you won't feel that. Even if I was a black person and playing, I would never feel what he did. So. He had to have amazing pressure, and not only not only because he was black and everybody else that he was playing with was white, but he had the pressure of the of the black population of, of, of all right, here you go, you one of us finally made it. You better be good, you know. You better perform. You you better put up some numbers, or else you're gonna fail us. So I think he was feeling that pressure at the same time. So unbelievable. I mean, he had to have an incredible support system, and and when you read about his widow, you, you can probably see that. But you know, the, the the pressure was just amazing. I can't even fathom it. You know, we were talking about Jackie Robinson, the ball player, but he also took his beliefs off the field as well. Yeah. You know, the civil rights issue with, you know, Martin Luther King. I mean, to me, that speaks volume of the man. Yeah, yeah. I think he had an incredible balance in his life. And, and I think he did it all the right way. Obviously, he had his cause. His cause was a black community, and his, his cause was, like you talked about, things outside the game. But he did it all the right way, in my mind. He wasn't too outspoken. He wasn't too critical. He wasn't out there um, where people are, are throwing darts at him every single day because of his views. Now, they did that because he was black, but not because he, of his views. So he handled all that, I think, in a, in a classy way, which to me just garners more respect for him. You know, here you are, the voice for the Colorado Rockies. I'm sure you get a lot of people asking you questions about the history of the game. What other events in baseball are important to you? Uh, I, I think uh, uh, breaking the color barrier obviously is, is up there. I, I think just the history of the game going back to the old franchises and uh, I, I read Bill Veck's book one time and, and, uh, and learned about the 1948 Cleveland Indians World Series team and to me that was just fascinating. So anytime there were great teams in the past, I'm really interested in how they were compiled, who their stars were, who the manager was, what kind of building they played in. To me, all that stuff is just incredible. That the history of the game, not necessarily the players, but the great teams along the way, I really seem to kind of follow. You know, in your opinion, how important is it for the younger generation, these ball players coming up, to really know the importance of what Jackie Robinson did for the game? Yeah, I think and it's life. I think it's vital. Yeah, I think it's really important, more so, Daryl, I think, than any other game, yeah, because there's a there's a longer history to baseball than there is with basketball or football or hockey or soccer in this country so number one it's been around longer so I think it's part of the American hist historical fabric and I think for that reason youth should appreciate the history of it more but there's just some fascinating events I mean there are things that have happened in baseball that have never happened nor they will they ever in other sports and I think it, I think for the youth of America and really around the world to kind of grasp that they're just going to improve themselves by by learning about it well, jerry i appreciate your time and rockies fans if you want to catch great baseball excitement just tune in to 850 koa and listen to the play-by-play -play radio announcer jerry shemmel this segment of colorado sports connection was brought to you by patron brothers painting colorado's mvp for residential and commercial painting colorado sports connection was brought to you by big bill's new york pizza Enjoy a slice of New York at Big Bill's New York Pizza. Sport Court of the Rockies, building Colorado's dream courts. Patron Brothers Painting, for your residential and commercial painting. Lazy M Saddlery, for the best in tack and fine western goods.
We hope you enjoyed this episode, and we'll see you next week right here on Colorado Sports Connection.